This month marks National Immunization Month, and during this time, doctors are highlighting vaccinations for people of all ages that are critical. And joining us now with what you need to know is CBS 42's Dr. Celeste Reese Willis. Good morning, Dr. Celeste. All right. Good so, morning. And happy Monday. Good morning. Okay. So, for those six years and younger, what do doctors say are those necessary vaccines right now? So, necessary vaccines for that age group would include varicella. It would include Tdap, which is diphtheria, tetanus, and acellular pertussis, haemophilus type B, rotavirus, pneumococcal, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, MMR, polio, as well as influenza. All right, what about ages 7 to 18 and then adults, Dr. Celeste? So again, with that 7 to 18, we're going to do that influenza virus, which is recommended vaccine, rather, that's recommended for everyone six months and older. In addition, the a tetanus, 11 to 12 years old, HPV and meningococcal at that age as well. All right, let's switch gears a little bit to COVID. We're hearing that we could see a tweaked COVID booster coming out and you know that it doesn't do much for the overall PR campaign for these booster shots when we see you know these officials coming out and they've been double vaccinated and boosted and then they're still getting COVID. What do you say to your patients that are maybe wondering if they should get a booster or not? Well, the boosters, we do know by research that people who are vaccinated and boosted have a decreased likelihood of ending up on a ventilator and decreased likelihood of death. Most individuals that are dying or succumbing to COVID are those individuals that are not vaccinated and not boosted. Do we know who will be eligible for those uh, tweaked boosters? Yes, yeah, so tentatively, uh, the CDC will be meeting this week, but they suspect that Pfizer will be released first and that'll be given for people that are 12 years old and up who have completed the primary series first. Uh, Moderna will follow suit, they suspect, in October, and that will be available for those individuals 18 years and up. The younger pediatric population will follow suit some weeks later. And again, all of this is tentative. The CDC meets later this week to decide. And Dr. Celeste, what in the world is this tomato flu that we're hearing about? <laughs> So tomato flu, um, it's a viral illness that's going on in India. It's been found in about 100 children right now. Typical viral illness, it has body aches, it has fatigue, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. It has also this characteristic rash that actually mimics a tomato. It's a blistery red type rash, uh, and it's thought to be transmitted through close contact, but it's thought to be non-life-threatening, and it resolves on its own time. So not, not associated with an actual tomato. <laughs> just want to get no. that straight. No, it just okay. looks like a tomato. The rash does. All right, all right. We appreciate you breaking it all down for us, Dr. Celeste. Have a good day. You, you too. too. We'll be right back here on the CBS 42 Morning News.